Hey everyone, Kyle Mike here from MLive.com, joined by Justin Rogers. Just wrapped up practice this morning, a, a light walkthrough-esque type practice uh, in Allen Park as the Lions prepare for tomorrow's uh, preseason opener against the Browns. And you know, Justin, you and I were just talking off camera about what we're looking for in this game, and, and for me it boils down to number nine. I mean, you know, Matthew Stafford, he's, he's looked good throughout the offseason, but there's only so much you can do when these guys are in shorts, as they were for OTAs and minicamp and, and much of training camp. And there's only so much you can do even when they put on the pads in, in, in training camp. You know, it's uh, seeing guys in different colored jerseys and who don't know what's coming is, is going to change the, the um, change things for Matthew Stafford. Those, those green jerseys at Ford Field aren't, aren't cutting it for you? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm curious because, t- to me, the biggest difference in Matthew Stafford's game is going to be um, it's going to be in the head, right? That's what Caldwell preached when he was first hired, is that he was going to change Matthew Stafford's decision-making, his risk-taking, and those were the things that led to all those interceptions uh, last year, and, and I think correcting those would be the biggest key for him turning things around, and you can't really see that too much against your own defense, and so I think uh, I'm curious to see what, you know how much they'll show uh, offensively and, and what they'll let Matthew Stafford do and, and where his decision-making is. Yeah, they've talked about uh, how he hasn't thrown an interception um, so far in camp during team drills. It's the Lions' secondary. I mean, how many <laughs> how many interceptions have they uh, generated in the last couple of years, anyway? So, we really don't know. Joe Hayden and uh, Justin Gilbert should provide a, a stiffer challenge for those seven to ten snaps that we might see Stafford tomorrow. Um, you know, we won't get the greatest look from him in the press box. We're not going to be able to really analyze his footwork from seven stories up. But you know, that's another aspect of his game that that really matters. Uh, I'm probably going to be a little bit more keyed into uh, some of the the backup receiving battles, the cornerback battles. Those guys are going to get more extensive reps. I want to see Kyle Van Noy. Uh, you know, assuming he's he's cleared and it, it doesn't look like the thumb injury has, has slowed him down in practice at all in the last few days. You know, he should get extensive reps. Maybe even see a little bit at the end with the first team, but uh, probably a, a good solid quarter, quarter and a half with with the second team. Um, and on the other side of the ball, I mean, I'm. I'm I'm curious as everyone else about Johnny Manziel. You know, I want to see Nate Burleson kind of get into the end zone. He's promised <laughs> us this epic celebration. I don't know if he's going to pull Roman candles out of the go post and fire him into the crowd. I, he, you know. he, he promised me at Stephen Tulloch's softball game, <clears throat> excuse me, earlier this summer that he was going to get fined for his celebration. He, he said he was cooking up something special for the Lions. He promised to get fined. I'd uh, be kind of interesting. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious. So, rooting for Burleson to get in the end zone. For me, I'm also interested in seeing, you know, away from Matthew Stafford, I'm, I'm interested in seeing the, how the right tackle position plays out. You know, the way Adrian Waddle and Corey Hilliard have split reps there. And, you know, Waddle's listed first on the depth chart, but his camp's been a little bit up and down. He's had good moments and he's had bad moments, just like a lot of guys. But um, I'm curious uh, of where he, where his standing is with the, with the new staff, because the old staff brought him in. And I'm just, you know, we, we saw a lot from him last year, but I'm just curious where his standing is and, and who starts the game at right tackle. And, uh, and how they played because, again, you're only going to go so hard against your own defensive linemen. Um, it's, it's full tilt tomorrow as much as a preseason game can be. And I'm curious to see where Waddle and, and Hilliard are in that battle. Uh, based on what we saw today with, with the way they ran the skeleton reps, it, it looks like Hilliard will be getting that start. Um, they've, they've rotated you know, every other day in practice, so if, if he does, I would expect Waddle to take that second start for sure. Um, What's the is there is there a player in your mind, Justin, who has something to 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 prove in this game? I I mean I look at Ryan Broyles. You know that's that's a guy that uh, seems to I don't know if lost the, the coaching staff has lost faith might be a little bit too strong, but we, we've talked about it. he's been working with the B team. He's been slotted with the rookies, third uh, string on the depth chart, coming off three major major injuries, and mm-hmm. and maybe the clock is running out for him. So you know it it would be to his benefit to, to stand out a little bit in, in this game and, and going forward in training camp. Burroughs is a, is a really good one. Um, I'm looking at Nate Freeze as well. Um, you know, he struggled throughout camp uh, up and down. We've written about it quite a bit. Um, and Giorgio DeVecchio has, has looked a little better, but he's definitely not a, a lock for that position. There's a ton of uncertainty at that position. Um, they could both make great cases for themselves by kicking well in this game. And uh, things could go downhill pretty fast if either one has a bad game, especially if Freeze. I think the pressure is, is turning on him a little bit, so it's turning up on him a little bit, and so uh, you know a good game would go a long way for him. That's what we got. I will be back at Ford Field tomorrow night, um, 7:30. Finally, a game. 7:30 p.m. It'll be on live TV with the game sold out. It'll be Johnny Mania and. 
course, we have our first look of uh, Jim Caldwell and the Lions. For Justin Rogers, I'm Kyle Munke. We're M Live. Keep it right here.